Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. Um, very strange stories in the news today. And in fact, in the last few days, I have picked up five very strange stories. We're in that pre-coronation game playing chess game thing that's going on. Um, and uh, in my opinion, these are power of magical thinking stories coming from Montecito. But we'll have a look at that in the coming days. But the stories are, first of all, that the Harkles want a meeting in Montecito. They want the royals to actually fly out to Montecito, sit down around a table, negotiate some kind of settlement and arrive at a public statement. That's the first one. Then the news today that Charles wants Harry and Meghan at the coronation and has asked the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, to broker a deal. And William is the fly in the ointment. William is the one being obstructive. That's the second story. The third story in the Daily Mail today is that Justin Welby is under, has fallen under a spell, um, that he has a lot of sympathy for the Harkles. That's the third story. The fourth story that's floating around is that King Charles uh, is possibly going to give an interview to the BBC uh, in the run-up to the coronation, which might be a useful place to address certain issues around the uh, Harkles and various other things. So bye-bye, no complain, no explain, that's gone. And the fifth story, which I read on yesterday, was about um, the Harkles wanting some role for the children at the coronation. Didn't look like that one was gonna fly, but uh, we promptly got this new one about Welby, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, being asked to broker some kind of a deal. The curious story uh, that I'm going to look at first today is this one about um, people saying that he has fallen under the Harkle spell and that he has a lot of sympathy for them. So um, there, there are lots of things going on um, in, in all of these stories. Um, but this is, the, this is the first one that leapt to my attention and I'm going to do a five card reading on it. I'm using for this one the After Tarot. That's my makeup my breakup and makeup tarot deck. It's about relationships. It's a, it's the tarot deck that um, I use when I'm talking about relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic relationships. Um, although we saw the um, rather hmm, dubious expression on Megan's face. She did give him a look, Justin Welby, at the wedding. Uh, a very, um, in my opinion, a flirtatious look. Uh, people have, are posting it on social media and let's remind you that this is just a tarot reading for entertainment purposes it's all just my opinion it's all speculation it's energy i read on the royals because they're archetypal and we can apply the lessons from those archetypes to our own lives and our microphone has dropped down i hope you can hear me properly um but um, there is a disclaimer in the box below and please read it and form your own opinions. Doing this for entertainment, I'm looking to see uh, how Justin Welby feels about the Harkles. Is he sympathetic towards their cause? Is he basically in Camp Harkle? Hope you can hear me better now. Um, is he in Camp Harkle? Is he behind the scenes involved in negotiations between the Harkles and the rest of the Royals? Has he been bedazzled by the Harkles, has he fallen under their spell? And then the outcome of this rather curious story, are we gonna hear of some sort of deal that's been negotiated? Is he gonna come out and say something? Just generally, what is going on? Um, it's a Sunday, I, th I have a lot going on in my life work that I'm trying to catch up on and stuff. And then these stories break and you think, really? Um, we've got months to go and these these kind of complex stories are coming out so many layers to them where do they come from what's the agenda we'll look at that don't worry but I'm trying to get through the uh, the, the, the top layer the, the, the things that I can peel off easiest in these readings very interesting card has come out as the underlying energy of this reading and that is the three of pentacles in reverse that's a no, not uh, involved in some kind of conversation, some kind of collaboration, some kind of teamwork. Uh, interesting, interesting underlying energy. Um, we'll see how the cards read against that underlying energy, but three of pentacles in reverse, no, 
not involved in any form of collaboration, cooperation. Power of magical thinking for Montecito. We'll pull a card at the end, um, depending on my energy and what happens in this reading, to see where this story has come from and what's going on. Situation. Uh, this might give us some kind of answer. What's the situation? Wow. Ruin. That's the situation. It's the Ten of Swords. Somebody is, is, is finished. Somebody's reputation is ruined. Somebody has reached rock bottom. Uh, somebody's trying to recover. I wonder who. <laughs> it's not Justin Welby. Justin Welby's having a wonderful time at the moment. I think, as far as I can recall, he was supposed to retire. And I also gather he's not the most popular Archbishop of Canterbury that ever was. Uh, but I think he has postponed his um, retirement so that he can attend the coronation and be involved. Of course, highlight of any archbishop's uh, very illustrious career, in my opinion. Uh, but somebody has reached rock bottom and that would be somebody over in Montecito. Somebody is really in big trouble with that Ten of Swords. Seen this card showing up a few times lately. Um, yeah. This is, this is big trouble. Big trouble not for Justin Welby, but big trouble for, for I would say, Prince Harry in Montecito. All the Harcourts generally, their reputation, their, their, um, their um, attempts to uh, get their half in, half out, all the stuff that they're trying to do, their attempts to get invited to the coronation, all the rest of it, not going very well. But how does Justin Welby feel about the Harkles. He was, of course, forced to come out and deny having officiated at a secret wedding ceremony three days before the actual spectacle. So how does he feel towards the Harkles? Is he sympathetic? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, I think that he feels that they're having some bad luck. Okay, that's what the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is. Literally, it's a card of bad luck, but it's a big card. It's a kind of a gambling card. It's um, playing a hand and losing. I think that he sees that they are on the losing side of things. And I don't think, and this is my personal opinion, and I don't mean it to be offensive or defamatory in any way, but I don't think that he is the kind of person who would really um, pick a side that is going against the tide, shall we say. Um, uh, let's try and word it like that. Um, so I don't think that he um, is on Team Harkle's side. Personally, don't see that from that card. I think he sees the ship going down. Um, he sees that they have played against fate. They have uh, the Wheel of Fortune is about divine timing. It's about turn, uh, you know, tur turn, turnarounds, and um, going, uh, getting their timing wrong. A lot has gone against the Harkles. Of course, there was the pandemic, uh, and that really, I think, um, took the wind right out of their sails when they set off for America and were going to launch all their enterprises. Um, I think he sees that. But this is not a sympathetic card. This is an observation card. This is looking at the situation objectively and thinking, ooh, um, things have gone badly wrong for you. Um, and I wouldn't say that he wants to be on that ship if it is going down. My personal opinion. Um, so that's that. Is he involved behind the scenes in some form of negotiation, trying to broker a deal between the Harkles and the rest of the royal family? Uh, I don't think so with a nine of wands. Um, I'm, I'm saying that because I've already got the three of pentacles in reverse. The nine of wands is people who are making their last stand, people who have got their guard up, barriers around them. You could interpret this as the royal family with its guard up and barriers around them and not letting anyone in because that's what the Nine of Wands really means. Um, you could mean uh, Justin Welby himself has got his guard up and doesn't want anybody in um, and causing trouble. But my interpretation of that is, again, it's the Harkle energy. It's the Nine of Wands, the Harkles making their last stand. There they are, two of them. Uh, the one has got the damaged head, the bandage around the head, which always indicates um, in traditional tarot some form of mental health issue, some sort of problem. Um, the nine of wands in the after tarot, there's an extra person standing here next to this um, rather damaged person. You could say 
that it's uh, Justin Welby on Team Harkle, that he's come to stand with them in their hour of need. But I don't read it like that. I read it as that's Megan and Harry in that card. There is someone who's down and out there. Uh, there's someone who's down and out has got, uh, has got someone standing there and that would be, in my opinion, Megan. That that's a Megan and Harry card showing them there. That's not negotiations. That's not secret deals. That's people who are in big trouble, who are battered and bruised. That's not the royal family. The royal family is not battered and bruised. The ones who are battered and bruised right now are the Harkles. You only have to look at the opinion polls and see how badly damaged they have been as a result of Harry's book Spare to see that those are the people who are in trouble. So it's not a stretch of the imagination for me as a tarot reader to say that that's the Harkles standing there in that card. But ring-fenced, guard up, um, uh, in trouble, in, in deep trouble, um, is Justin Welby, uh, has he fallen under a spell? Um, very odd terminology to use uh, for a man of God uh, to talk about falling under a spell. Uh, rather unsavory terminology, in my opinion, rather sinister also, I have to say. That's my opinion. Has he fallen under a spell? Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who's very shrewd, very wise, very clear-headed, very intelligent, um, very unemotional. Unemotional. Not somebody who can't see the wood for the trees. Not at all. Not somebody who would fall under a spell. The card is in the reverse. Um, I, I'm inclined to feel from that card that he has made some behind the scenes um, cutting gesture. He has kind of cut them off. I won't say excommunicated, that's a very strong word, um, unless I'm using it metaphorically, but along those lines of back off, stay away, um, in which case his guard up to uh, in this card. He's got up to. He's already been uh, been through one round with the Harkles, with that secret wedding that he had to come out and deny. Um, my interpretation of that card, the Queen of Swords in reverse, is that there is some behind the scenes. Cards in reverse can mean sort of behind the scenes things, things we're not aware of, that just don't don't make stuff up again. Uh, because clearly, in the Oprah interview, there were lies, there were untruths, there was magical thinking um, about stuff. People enumerated the lies, so I don't have to say allegedly. There were lies, and Justin Welby was the victim of one. So, yeah, he can also be in that energy, in that Nine of Wands energy of, I've been, I've been through this, and I, I'm getting that now more clearly. Um, so both sides... Um, but I think that he wants to protect himself now. He's got a big deal coming up. He's already uh, been through, as I say, the, the, the funeral uh, of the late queen. Now he's got the coronation coming up. I'm sure he doesn't want to mess up. I'm sure he doesn't want to annoy the king. Um, so, yeah, back off. I'm getting a strong back off vibe from this reading. Don't. There's certainly no spells. There's no Neptune in here. There's no... Um, there's no delusion, there's no cups, there's no affection. Uh, se secondary energy of both these cards, secondary energy could be him, who's, who's had a bit of a moment, who, 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 whose reputation was harmed somewhat by that claim that he officiated at a secret wedding, which would have been illegal, uh, never mind anything else. So I think primary energy is Harkles and these cards but can also be Justin Welby energy of defending his reputation. And he has got a reputation to defend. He's got a very important role to play. He's reached very high status. And so why should the Harkles bring him down? What's going to happen ultimately? Is he going to come out and make a statement? Um, are we going to suddenly hear about some sort of negotiation? What's the outcome of this? Quite peculiar reading, I have to say. Quite weird energy. Uh, we're not going to get another go round of this. We've got the fool in reverse. Um, I think he's been fooled once before and he's not going to be fooled again by them. Uh, fool in reverse. That's my opinion as a tarot reader. Fool in reverse. Uh, you don't get another, another go-round with, with Justin Welby. 
you, 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 you played him for a fool. Um, I'm, I'm saying this um, in, the, in the wrong voice and the wrong person, uh, but I think that that's how he feels. I think that he feels very defensive, very on guard, very bruised and battered. He's certainly not involved according to this reading. He's certainly not involved in any kind of negotiations. Um, it's a very, it's a sordid little story. It's a weird little story. And so I'm going to ask the card, where did it come from? I'm going to put my notes away. Um, ca uh, camera, the microphone keeps dropping. Um, so I hope you can hear apologies if you can't, but that's what's going on. The sound comes and goes. Um, but I'm just going to have a look and say, where did this story come from? Because it's a tricky little story. Where did it come from? Where, why, anything universe wants to tell us about this story. Because it, it does not reflect well on Justin Welby. Um, and I can't imagine that the royal family would plant a story like this to try and undermine the archbishop. Where did the story come from? There it came from the Two of Cups. <laughs> um, my opinion, as a tarot reader, that it came from Montecito. It came from the happy couple themselves, the Two of Cups, trying somehow to... Um, get him back in control uh, that that came out uh, I don't necessarily mean that um, literally but to try and um, get him back on side that's a that's a better way of saying it two of cups is all about reconciliation is all about affection I said in this reading there were no cups there's no sign of affection there's nothing like that this is a very weird way of trying to lure someone back into your 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 uh, power your, your circle of influence shall we say to try and get them back on side um i'm not seeing in this reading any sort of sympathy for the harkles here i'm getting major arcana uh, of uh they've played their hand badly they 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 have taken a wrong turning things have gone south for the harkles he's not going to be fooled again by them he's trying to distance himself from them he sees that they are ruined He's not involved in negotiations, but here it comes. When I ask who and why uh, about this bizarre little story, I get the two of cups and the only people that I can, as a tarot reader, um, say the energy fits. And this is an energy reading is the Harkles and Montecito and particularly one of the Harkles, Megan, in my opinion, who is trying to reel him in again, lost him, trying to reel him in in a very peculiar way very very strange energy around this reading very strange energy around the story which is why it's the first one i picked up from uh, the 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 big article that was in the daily mail today and that has upset a lot of people i know uh, but anyway i'm going to pick up the next story from that article in the reading to follow thanks for watching this one and hope to see you over there